Welcome guys, it's Danny Glover from Fight Fan TV Live and we're here today joined by the Olympic gold medalist of 2016, Tony Yoka. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, thank you. So um, it's fair to say you've been working with Don Charles uh, for the last couple of fights. How did that um, li hook up and link up come about? I didn't work with him since last couple of fights. I just came um, with him like less than a year. So uh, those last few months, um, I just moved to England and uh, I feel I got a good relationship with him and I'm ready to go back on the track. So how has it been in the camp? Um, you know, Don Charles is known for as someone who's able to get someone physically fit as well as mentally fit. Do you feel that he's mentally able, got through to you as well as physically and made you, because you look bigger than, you know, last time I've seen you on telly. So have you been working on some sort of stuff? Yeah, I've been working on, on, on some stuff and um, I can't wait to show the people uh, what I'm up to right now. Yeah, because also my friend Eddie, Edgar, he also at the gym, he said that he's been seeing that the improvements of you sparring. So how's the sparring been going with Daniel Dubois, who's set to face Anthony Joshua next? My, my last sparring with Daniel was really good before his fight against, um, against Ergovic. Uh, we had like competitive sparring and uh, that's why I feel like I'm ready, you know, I'm ready to go back on the ring. I want to fight this, uh, this summer at least twice and then have a... Uh, one or two big fights before the end of the year. Your last fight was against Riyad Mirhi. You, um His last fight was against Gerard Anderson. Did you manage to watch that fight? And what did you think about that? Is that a fight you'd think about running back? I didn't watch that fight because, um, as I said, I had two uh, tough years. You know, personally, it wasn't really good. And um, you, you could have seen it on the ring. You know, I wasn't myself. But since January, January, February, I definitely I'm better. We made a change that um, is going to make that I'm ready to go back in the ring now, you know. Also part of Riyadh season there is Gerard Anderson fight, fighting Martin Bacoli, another former opponent of yours. What do you think about that fight and who, who, do, you, who do you fancy in that? I think it's a really risky fight for Jared because nobody wants to fight Bacoli. Everybody, um, everybody said no and um, I think he's really underrated, you know. So I can't Actually, I'm really excited about watching this fight because I don't really know how he's going to do because it's like two opposition of style, you know. I know Jared is really skillful and uh, his technique is above a lot of heavyweight. But <laughs> Bacoli is, is the underdog in this division and I think it's going to be a really interesting fight. Also, you being an Olympic gold medalist, the Paris 2024 Olympics is in your home city, uh, Paris this year. Um, so yeah, what, what do you think about that? Are you going to that uh, Olympic Games and is there any new French boxers coming through who we need to watch out for? Let us know. Um, you know, I will be there definitely because it's in my hometown. And uh, I think the French team got a few guys that can be medal and some of them can, can have the, the gold medal. I hope we will have at least like one or two gold medals for these Olympic Games. In the heavyweight division, I see that um, the Uzbekistan guy, the one who's already Olympic champion, I don't see him lose. You know, he's really, really, really good. He's talented. And now he got the confidence. So have you managed, have you ever sparred um, Anthony Joshua before? Because obviously you sparred Daniel Dubois. If so, what do you think about Anthony Joshua's chances against your stable mate in Daniel Dubois? You know, since a um, since couple months now, I think mental health is maybe more important than, than physical health. And I can tell that Joshua is, is back at it. Since few fights now, he's back, you know. You can tell by his focus on the ring. So we will have a really good fight. I think Daniel want to be world champion and Joshua want to be a second time world champion. So both of them is going to like come out strong and heavy and we will have a good fight. A last one from me. Um, when are you looking to fight next and what is your goals for the rest of this year? What are you aiming to sort of do? And, and are you looking to have like two more fights by the end of the year or something like that? I want to have at least three, max four fights, you know. I want to have two, two small shows this summer just to get back at it. Then after that, I'm up to everything. You know, I want to be there in less than a year. So we have work to do. 
thank you very much for your time. It's Danny Glover for Fire Fan TV Live, and we're here with the Olympic gold medalist Tony Yoka. And remember, guys, persistence beats resistance. You know where it is. <laughs>